This video is specifically about our trailer that we use. We call it the dog chariot. It's right here. This is our one wheeled bike trailer. Um, because we constantly get questions about this and I think I've answered all of those questions, but they are like buried within some of our vlogs and stuff. So this is a specific video that I can direct people to when they have questions about this cart. Okay, first of all, we bought the cart on eBay, and they're still on eBay. I just did a search the other day, um, and they, they're still selling them. The price looks like it went up a little bit, but we purchased this trailer for, I think it was around $75, and that included shipping it to our door. Um, it arrived to us, and it was in a flat box, so that means it needed to be assembled. It was pretty simple to assemble. It also came with a big like vinyl uh, bag thing that we, we don't use, but it fits in here and it's got some Velcro straps and stuff. We may use it one day whenever, you know, if we ever use this cart to like haul groceries in or something like that. But so far we've just used it to haul this, our dog. Anyway, the brand name for this trailer is Awesome and that's spelled A-O-S-O-M. It's a lot cheaper than some of the other uh, one-wheeled bike trailers that are similar to this. Uh, those are supposedly made out of a little better quality materials and, and stuff, but those were like between $350 and $400. This trailer, uh, we put several thousand miles on it on gravel roads and stuff, and it held up really well. And then uh, just recently, the shaft that runs inside here failed and it was really flimsy cheap material so dave replaced it uh, you have to be kind of handy to be able to do that but with a little extra fabrication and modification to this trailer um, it is now probably just as durable as any of those like three four hundred dollar trailers it hooks to the bike another thing that did fail is it had these little pins that um, hooked to the bike and it comes with these what would you call this Dave these little shaft things that uh -huh. stick out anyway uh, you can make your own kind of deal but the pin part mechanism also failed and we have a solution that we're gonna fix that with cotter pins but for now we are using wire to secure it onto the these these bolts or pins that stick out it's really secure behind the bike. I have gone down hills probably going 25. 25 miles an hour easy. And this bike, it's, it's, I don't even really realize that the trailer is back there. It pulls really well. Now I'm going to show you, for those of you who want this to haul a dog with, I'm going to show you how we put our dog in here. And we've been hauling our dog in this since we got it. We used to haul two dogs in it, two Jack Russell Terriers and we have had no problems. Um, initially, we didn't quite have our strapping them into the cart thing figured out, and we did have a couple of times when one of the dogs tried to jump out of the cart because he saw something, and, but you know he was still connected to the cart and we stopped right away. No, no injuries, nothing bad happened, but it is important to make sure that you have them secured in so they can't like, like half leap out of the side of it. So now I'm going to get the dog back over here. Here he comes. <laughs> and I'm going to show you how we put him into the car. The, dog, the grumpy little dog. First of all, I just want to show that he's wearing just like a, a dog harness like you get at Walmart. And here's the little clip on the back where you would hook the leash. And what we use is a, a carabiner clasp. And we've got three dog leashes. We've got a big dog leash here in the back and we just fit it around Come closer so that you can see. We fit it around the, the rails here in the back and we snap that to this carabiner. That way he's secured from the back. Then we have uh, two other dog collars, just these little nylon dog collars with the plastic snap. And we put one of those on each side of his harness. like so so here we go we've got the two two dog collars they're they're around his harness right here we've got this one collar here in the back with the carabiner snap snap to the leash uh clasp thing and just how we put these on here 
we we wrap them around so that they can't move forward or back and that keeps him positioned in there where he's at he can't leap over the side he can't you know go through this part and he can't go forward and he can't really go back too far and we have had zero problems with him in the cart since we adopted this way of securing him in it and it's worked out really good we're happy we definitely would go with a one-wheeled bike some people they think that it's going to be more stable if they've got the ones with the two wheels I haven't had any experience with that because I don't have one of those, but it looks to me like that's a, a much bulkier option. And it seems to me that it would you would notice that behind you a lot more. No, this is, real. yeah, and this is very streamlined. I mean, this, you see here, it doesn't stick out very far from the bike and it really follows wherever I go on the bike really well. So if you're looking at one of these inexpensive trailers, Hey, we, we've enjoyed ours and it's been good. We did paint it too. It comes without any paint job and I just spray painted it black. So I hope that's helpful. We are on a bike ride at this very moment with the cart and the dog. Something I forgot to mention before when I was describing this cart is that you can take the wheel off of it and the whole thing kind of collapses down so it makes it nice for if you want to throw it in the trunk of your car and uh, travel with it which we have done so i just wanted to mention that as well for those people who might be interested